Should you use SPSS or should you use the R programming language on your data analysis journey? Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm the part-time economist and in today's video, we are talking all about the differences between two very popular but radically different programs for doing data analysis. R versus SPSS. In the video, we'll talk about the comparisons, everything like that, but I actually want to start off with a story of why I am making this video. For those of you who do not know, I'm currently working through a PhD program. I'm just over 50% complete, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to hopefully graduating sometime soon. Um, and by soon, I mean in a year or two. Uh, in any case, I'm getting to the point in my studies where I'm having to take a lot of math and statistics courses. And for over a decade, I have been a huge fan of open source software. Things like Linux, Kden Live, um, the R programming language, Python, right? I think that giving people the open source software to create, to analyze, right? I think that can be so empowering. So when my university said, you need to use SPSS for this course, I went to the website. The first thing I noticed is that SPSS is not free and open source software. In fact, SPSS is closed source software that also happens to be ridiculously expensive. Now, I do get a little bit of a student discount, but that was the first key distinction that I want to make between SPSS and R. One of them is free, the other one is not. And yes, I do get a student discount, but as I was working through my courses, I said, look, I get this student discount now, but what happens when I graduate? Well, when you graduate, if you want to keep using SPSS, you're going to be looking at paying over a hundred dollars per month, right? Which is completely out of reach for a lot of people, unless you have an organization that is sponsoring your license, which in that case, it doesn't matter to you, but it's still increasing the organization's budget. Um, at the end of the day, if you're using SPSS, someone is paying for it, right? So that's the first key difference. And I think paying for SPSS, obviously, IBM is a company, right? They're trying to make money. And as someone that's a huge fan of open source and community driven software, right? It's easy for me to say, what is going on here? Why are people using this product when there is something free that can do the exact same thing? But I also realize that everyone's situation is different. And I want to tell you the, in my opinion, the massive strength of SPSS. It is incredibly familiar. It makes data analysis more accessible to a wide range of people. If you are familiar with Excel and you're looking at SPSS, it looks very friendly, right? It doesn't look intimidating. You can see your data, you can see rows, you can see columns. If you want to run a statistical test, it's three mouse clicks away, right? Not only can you run a statistical test, but you can do follow on tests, right? You can check for your assumptions, right? You can do all those things with just a couple mouse clicks. You can get an answer, you can write your analysis, and you can go on with your life, right? And as someone, like I said, that has a huge bias in favor of open source tools, I still think that that is incredibly powerful, right? Not everyone is a mathematician. Not everyone is a computer programmer. Some people, Again, they might work in social sciences, right? They're addressing some issue that is very important, that's going to have a massive impact on society, and they just need to crunch some numbers for that. So I do think that is a huge strength of SPSS. It makes it very easy to do statistics. Now, let's talk about the R programming language. As I mentioned, R is completely free. It's open source, but You'll also notice I keep calling it the R programming language. And the reason for that is that R is not a program. It is a programming language. So if you look at R, what you will notice is that there is very little point and click interface here. If I want R to do something, I'm having to type a command, especially if I'm trying to do a lot of different types of analyses. I'm going to be doing a lot of coding. I'm going to be doing a lot of typing right now. It's not as intimidating as some people would think. 
I think it's easy to learn R, at least compared to other programming languages. But at the end of the day, R does, in my opinion, have a little bit more of a learning curve than something like SPSS. That being said, things like R, and I do want to be clear here, there are other open source tools, right? You can do pretty much everything that you can do in R with something like Python, right? So I'm talking about R because that's what I know, uh, but you could pretty much apply most of what I'm saying about R to Python or something like that. R rewards you for the investments that you make. And this is a huge thing that I want to point out with R. When you use the R programming language, it is a free language. Yes, that means you don't have to pay money. But just as importantly, it means that when you leave university, you can keep using this. All of the skills, all of the things that you learned, they transfer with you. You can keep using R to do analyses. You don't have to worry about what if IBM raises the price, right? What if, what if IBM does not put a function into SPSS that I need? What if I get to the stage in my statistical research where I need to do a test that isn't coded into SPSS? The great thing about R is that it is community driven academics, researchers, people all across the world can create packages. When they run into a problem, they can create a function and then they can share that, right? So you're not limited to just using a strict set of features that come with SPSS, right? So R rewards you for learning about it. It allows you access to much more functionality and it's completely free, right? Like I said, you do have to spend some time learning it. I don't think it's incredibly difficult, as you can see here from this screen that I'm sharing, to run an analysis of variance. I'm literally doing four, four lines of code, right? Something that takes a couple minutes. So I do think R is very powerful and it is a fully fledged programming language. At the end of the day, you can do data and statistics with R, but you can also create applications. You can process text. So that's obviously, like I said, I have a huge bias in favor of the R programming language. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at this and you're trying to decide which one do you want to learn, I think you have to make a couple choices. Number one, if your organization dictates that you use one or the other, you should probably do that, right? Uh, my university says use SPSS, so that's what I do. I use SPSS and then I recreate things with R, so I'm building that muscle memory so that I can keep using R and doing these tests when I leave the university, but I'm turning my assignments in using the software they want me to use, right? So if your organization forces you to use one, you should probably use it. Assuming that you have a choice, the first thing, do you wanna pay money? Or do you want something that's free, right? And most people are going to say, well, I want something that's free. Then the third choice you have to consider, okay, what does that free software, what price price are you willing to pay for that free software, right? Are you willing to invest the time into learning how to write these codes? Or do you just want some answers? Do you just need to run an analysis, get your results, and move on? Everyone is going to have different needs, different things that they're looking for. My personal opinion, if you have, and it's not a massive time commitment to just learn a little bit of R as you need it, right? Okay, I need to spend five minutes learning how to do a t-test, right? You don't have to learn it all at once. My personal opinion is that learning R or Python or Julia or any of these free and open source uh, programming languages, right? My personal opinion is that it is well worth the investment. At the same time, I am not going to criticize someone that says, look, for my situation, it's worth it to pay that money, right? Again, I'm free and open source advocate, right? I am all about the free software, but the fact that SPSS is so widely used attests to the fact that it can be useful for a large number of people. So the most important thing to remember is to make your choice based on what is going to suit your needs, not how cool something is, um, which is going to work for you. So I hope you found the video interesting. I do appreciate you watching and I will see you next time.